In this triad exercise, we are looking at basic absolute value equations. So with part A, we're asked to solve the absolute value of x equals 2. So remember, absolute value can be interpreted as the distance from 0. So we want to know what values of x are 2 units from 0. So we just simply put that as x equals negative 2 because the absolute value of negative 2 is 2 or x equals 2. And we can rewrite that as x equals plus or minus 2. And those are the only two values that if we put in for x, it will yield the absolute value of x is 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. Both of those are 2 units from 0. Part B, we are asked to solve the absolute value of y equals negative 4. Well, we're looking at distance. Again, remember, that's, that's one way to interpret absolute value. So we want to know what values are what values for y are 4 units, negative 4 units from 0? Well, distance is never negative. The absolute value will never be negative. So the solution to this is simply no solution. There's no number we can put in for y that will yield negative 4. In fact, there's no number we can put in for y that will yield any negative solution because absolute values are distance from 0, and distance is always positive. Finally, with part C, we're asked to find the absolute value of z equals 0. Well, what value is 0 units from 0? That's simply z equals 0. There's no other value we can put in for z that will yield an absolute value of 0 because there's no other value that is 0 units from 0.